Hello everyone, welcome to another Dune 1000 video. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, get custom missions working because this is a request uh, that I've uh, that I have from uh, from some users on my channel. They told me they have some problems installing Sandstorm campaign, I mean the expansion of War of Assassins, which are my campaigns and I'm going to show you how to do it because it's quite simple and it's all about copy pasting uh, two or three things actually so the f the first thing you need I, I links will be in the description for uh, the both things you have to download and first thing you want to do open up your browser which should not be uh, Internet Explorer this is a virt virtual machine that's why I don't have anything like Chrome on it so Chrome should be your choice if you if you don't agree with me then you are wrong so go ahead extract this and you have a readme here which you should obviously read because that's why it's called a readme file it tells you how to add uh, your own missions which you should read if you want if you like creating missions and you want to play them and it tells you this uh, piece of information right here which is very important the current version of Mission Launcher needs at least 1000.exe version the point is that you have to get this and even gives you a link to it but I'm gonna have I'm gonna link it uh, a, a direct link to the exe in in the description so you don't have to go to that link and that's a that's a forum topic right there so first step is to copy and paste these into your um, into your Dune 2000 folder, the root directory of Dune 2000. And now you can see that the missions folder has a lot more files than normal, and this is because you actually not only get the Sandstorm and the the, the War of Assassins missions that I've created, you also get a lot. Uh, more uh, custom campaigns from other Fed2K users and to play them you no longer start the game from Dune1000.exe you start it from MissionLauncher.exe and now you're gonna see this thing popping up right here and you see the War of Assassins menu or the Sandstorm menu you can select any of them and uh, choose a house and go ahead and start playing you have the Rise of the Mercenaries created by Grandlord6 and you also have the whole missions button which pretty much covers every single mission you create it's, it's gonna get into one of these uh, sections you know depending on what house the the player will be so for example Atreides has all this good stuff here Ixian campaign for example the Emperor you it even supports sub houses I mean real sub houses by using sub houses indexes in the map editor but alright so that's that's the whole point and you can select any mission it's gonna tell you the briefing right here you can go ahead and read it then select the difficulty level and start but you need one more thing to make sure every, everything's gonna work uh, as it should and go ahead and download the second thing here um, gonna put it right like this and it's not found why what the hell is going on Alright, give me a second here. Alright, so I just checked it from my main computer and I the problem is that CNCNet is down at the moment. As you can see you're downloading this from CNCNet.org, which is down at this point when I'm making the video. So normally this should work. In case I don't know this is completely down forever or something, we really hope it's not because it's our multiplayer platform but if something happens then just uh, let me know because I'm gonna send you a, a, an EXE I'm gonna upload my own and that's gonna be good enough D the reason why I'm not doing this right now is because this link right here will always have the most uh, up-to-date version and that's what you really have to to put in a video like this because you don't want to uh, you know re-update it every time a new version comes in because it does happen so you really need to have this link here which will be in the description so you you you'd go, go ahead download this 
and you just simply copy paste it in your root dune 2000 directory which uh, will be right here so you're gonna be replacing this one so make sure you do a backup or something and then you're gonna be good to go it also starts you also have to start from the mission launcher.exe as I told you do not start from the from dune2000.exe even if you're replacing it because the launcher itself is gonna load the exe later so yeah right thank you guys for watching in case you you have any more questions or problems with this go ahead and leave down a comment and yeah we're gonna see you later